Hi guys, it's Parzival, I also go by Will, and I am back with another sketchbook tour. So, I did a bunch of smaller sketchbooks, as I said earlier, before I... I think it was like a sketchbook or two ago that I talked about this, because I've been wanting to work on a bigger sketchbook and take my time with that. So I worked on a bunch of smaller ones to fill the gaps. And it's going pretty well so far. But I'm still, I've still got these sketchbooks to show you. So, I have this one, which is this pink and blue themed sketchbook. It has pink and blue cardstock in it, as you can see. And I started it the 21st of April and ended it the 25th. I remember with the sketchbook saving it until I found something special or something. But I never ended up actually doing that. I just ended up using it because it was like... A sketchbook that was uh, short it had 12 sheets in it and so I used it up and honestly I don't really know why I was saving it I think because it had a theme to it I thought it had to be super like cool and special but it really didn't and I kind of don't know like if how other people feel about this but I definitely feel like once you get that first page like done it feels a lot better and a lot of people feel like once they get their first page done, they've screwed up and they don't want to touch the sketchbook anymore. But I feel like that's more of like a breaking things into m thing for me. Um, I actually really like this sketch of lamb that I did here. Even though I'm not super happy with the sketch of Rosalie and Kazel, I really do like this pen sketch of lamb. And I think that's something that's just like finding something that you like about the first page that you draw or don't draw on the first page when you first start. Uh, I think I drew the lamb sometime after I drew the Rosalie and Kazel, and I don't remember if I went back to do it, but I actually really like this. But I have a bunch of sloppy sketches of lamb here. I really think I should get back into doing some quicker gestures in my books, even if they don't look the best. So I'm glad that I got to do some of them here. They don't look the cleanest, and they're not really supposed to, but I feel like I should get back into doing them because they feel they loosen me up more. And then here's a pose study of Rosalie. I realize I didn't finish the actual inside of her armor right there, which is, oopsies. Um, that's not supposed to be like a dress or anything. That's just, I forgot to finish that. But I actually really like this pose and I like how it turned out. Then I had this weird dream that I want to draw and sketch out. So I have a lot of gestures here about like little dream fragments. Uh, this was a character that appeared in it called the Scion of Water. And he, I don't know if he had hair, but he had like water control powers or something like that. He was like a god. Then this is a little moth comic I doodled for my friend as a joke. Some studies of objects. I think I cut off the bottom of this water bottle a little bit too early. But I had this water bottle and then this boba tea. Then I have some OC drawings. I need to get used to this being in the middle. Sorry. Um, this is my friend O.C. Irian, and then I have this sketch page of Jinx from Neolands. Some more gestures, pen studies, and stuff like that. A doodle of Luke in a graphic tee, because I see a lot of those, so I wanted to get back to doing, like, fashion doodles. I haven't really done a lot of fashion drawings since I was, like still in college since it was like 2015 and I feel like I learned a lot from those and I had a lot of fun with them so I should really get back into doing those. Some Luke hair studies because I really need to figure out how his hair works shape wise. I understand how it works technically but as a 3D shape I don't have a concept of it so I'm starting to work on that. This is some character development that I did of my character Striker who was an old character from like back when I was in high school actually. So that's almost, like, six years ago. Oops. And I figured I'd redesign her. And then this is my character, Flint. He is a dragon. And he will, at some point, be in a D&D campaign. Uh, he was designed by my friend, and then I drew the design on top of it. Well, not on top of it. After the fact, so I could make sure he looked like how he was supposed to. So... Uh, I have some studies here of just a post studies. I've tried to do like 
some contour brush pen studies, some silhouette stuff, and some actual, like, inner, um, inner construction studies of the same pose, just to see if I could get used to doing that again. Because studies are great, but also doing variations on the same thing is also pretty good because it helps you understand how the pose works. And then I have a bunch of studies of just things that were around my desk. So I did some silhouette stuff, I did some uh, sketches of pens in brush pen, stuff like that. More OC stuff, these are for Fate's Thread. This is my friend's character Lyra in another graphic shirt. And my character Elian as a chibi. Uh, there was a joke going on about uh, buns with buns and bonbons because it's like wordplay and stuff. So I figured I'd draw my character Elian who's a rabbit. Then stupid armor of my character Lamb because my friend drew this. So I had to draw this. And then the sketch page of Levi. I really like how this turned out, which is kind of sad because it's a shit post. Some more studies. And then I finished the sketchbook off with a doodle of some Neil Land stuff. I don't think this actually happened, but this certainly feels like this sometimes. Where it's just like, Cal has a plan, Lamb is tired, but goes along with it anyway. But I also thought it was funny because. If Cal were to do this, Lamb would have to be bent over, like, in half, because Cal is almost a foot shorter than Lamb. Or half a foot shorter than Lamb, something like that. And it would be, like, kind of painful for him, but not too painful, just irritatingly so. But yeah. This wasn't the best sketchbook in the world, but there's stuff I like in it, and I think there's a lot of stuff that I've been improving on with it. So... In terms of getting back into the, like, actual type of sketchbooks that I wanted to do. So I actually really like how this ended up. Um, I don't really have much to say besides that. I really enjoyed um, this sketchbook in general. The, the, this part right here with the tape where it doesn't, it's not even kind of bugs me because, like, it should have been straight and it's clearly not. Oops. But yeah. Uh, I think that's about it. That about wraps it up. So, as usual, I have all of my links down in the description below, including my Patreon if you want to support me. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of these. And, as always, thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you next time.